what's up guys and welcome back to another EVE Online video. We are once again in wormhole space um, and continuing the theme of recent videos of um, gas huffing. So I recently put out a video about Jedi gas huffing which is where you um, basically rely on your ship's speed and the size of the gas cloud to stay out of the rats um, range basically you've got to stay more than 140 kilometers away and you stay out of range um, as long as you move fast enough so I've been running that successfully um, for a while and then but whilst setting it up and whilst doing it I encountered a new method for um, harvesting gas and this isn't one I've seen before um, well, we've tested it extensively with my corporation um, and we, we're calling it chameleon huffing, which I will explain a little bit later on. But basically, um, similar similar premise to the Jedi huffing. Um, this works in C5 and C6 wormholes, specifically on the instrumental core reservoirs and the vital core reservoirs. Uh, they're the only two um, gas sites this works on, but fortunately they are the two most lucrative. Um, but the nice thing uh, comparing this to Jedi is um, you can actually run it on both. Jedi is limited to instrumental. Uh, chameleon huffing, as we're calling it, it can work on both instrumental and um, vital. Uh, so I'm, I'm just going to warp in. Now I'm in my Heron, obviously that's not a, not a gas harvesting ship. But I'm going to warp in and just start getting set up because uh, it, triggering the gas site doesn't matter for this technique and I'll talk through what we're doing as we as we go along. So I'm still hopefully nothing hopefully there's no rats spawned. But um let's just go for it and find out. Uh so yeah, this is a definitely easiest if um the site hasn't been triggered yet, but it doesn't matter if we trigger it during the setup and or how long it takes us. So it's going to flick to PvE view to see if we've got any rats. We haven't, so we're good to go. Okay. So, basic premise here is instrumental cores and vital cores have C320 and C540 gas. Um, one of those clouds, so in the instrumental, it's the C320, and in the vital it's the C540, um, is massive. Like, super, super, super massive. I'm zoomed out as far as I can go, right? Um, but you'll see the C540, in this case, which is the little one, is towards the bottom. So we want to just go up, we want to burn as fast as we can to the furthest edge of the C320 gas cloud. And the reason we do this is the rats spawn close to the beacon. So they spawn around here when they actually spawn um, at about at around the 20 minute mark. And that, but the beacon is towards the bottom of the larger cloud. Um, and that's important because I've just sort of discovered during setup of Jedi huffing that the um, the rats have a maximum aggro range, so they have a maximum like obviously damage range and things of 140 kilometers, um, the battleships, but they also have a, just a max aggro range in these sites, and that aggro range is about 250 kilometers. Um, I haven't tested it perfectly, but I know it's around 250 kilometers. And so what that means, this gas cloud is so large, like you can see we've gone 150k from the beacon already, and we're still at zero meters to the gas cloud. That should work as long as we go up to this point at the top of the gas cloud. We should end up at close to 300 kilometers away from the beacon. And so we go all the way up here. Just keep burning. So you want to be in something quick to do this, like you could overheat or you come in an interceptor or something, or even a prospect. Um, burn all the way up until this number starts climbing, basically. And how far are we from the beacon now? 230. And we're still comfortably inside the gas cloud. So just keep burning, 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 burning. And... We're now probably outside the rat's range, but again, to be safe, we're going to go right to the edge. 
just to make sure there's no risk of us triggering the rat's uh, aggro. Okay, so we've hit the edge, so I'm going to turn around and we will drift into zero. There we go, and now we should bounce um, back out. And now, are we at the very edge, do we think? This is 292 kilometers away, 282 kilometers away. So I'm just going to go this way a little bit. Uh, that's still taking us out. That's OK. What if I go this way a touch? Because we just want to make sure, just to be sure, right? We want to be as far from the rats as possible, just to be certain that we're not going to trigger them. But like the setup time doesn't matter. The rats will spawn at 20 minutes, but they won't attack us. So let's just now go up this way. One pulse of this. Okay, how are we doing? 290 kilometers. I reckon that'll do. That'll do. So if we now just pull in a tiny bit again and then stop there, create a bookmark, add location, C th uh, let's call it C320 Chameleon, save that, and now we're set up. We're ready to go. So now I'm going to hop back and get in my gas harvesting ship, and we'll come back, and I will rejoin you guys in a second. Okay, and now we're back once again in the system, but this time in a gas harvesting vessel. Um, and this time, instead of warping to the gas site, if you warp to your the bookmark you made at zero, you should land nicely at the very edge of the gas cloud. I've come back in my prospect because it's um, it's what I have available in the hole. I want to demonstrate that this technique works for you guys. But one of the one of the big benefits. So we're now back out here. Um, no rats yet. Um, as I was saying, one of the big benefits is um, you can do this in a mining barge uh, because the the speed doesn't matter. You they actually don't like you don't want to move at all. That's the the key thing. Um, so I'm just going to go to PVE, so I've got my D-scan working. Uh, but yeah, the key thing here is not moving. So we are currently 297 kilometers away from the beacon. Um, and then maybe even further, 276. So we should be good, and we just now sit dead still. Um, and that's it. That's literally what all there is to it. Um, and as I, but as I was saying, like you can you can come and do this in a barge, um, and you might want to, like a coveter or something. Um, and I'm actually going to go now that I've discovered this technique. I'm actually going to go out and fit up a, a specific coveter just for this, because it's a lot more efficient than harvesting in the prospect. Um, and speed doesn't matter. So just like I'm not going to share this fit because. Um, this is just one I literally threw together um, as a concept, and you should probably have a look at generating your own. But I can tell you, like, give you the general concept behind it, and to also show you um, the efficiency gains. So, prospect, we're getting 40 meters cubed every 30 seconds. Uh, per gas hover, so we're getting 80 meters cubed every 30 seconds. On the coveter, we're getting 200 meters cubed every 95 seconds. So per per gas harvester. So the prospect, it, what was it? It was 40 every 30. So that's 120. Well, let's call it 130 every 95. And whereas we're getting 200 every 95 in the coveter. So you can harvest a lot faster and you don't need to go anywhere. And then the other reason 
and then ev the other stuff you need to be careful for is then um, gankers so you don't want to spend you don't want to be in a big old slow thing because then people with combat probes will just be able to get you uh, this is wormhole space like if you're not aware like you're very very exposed there's no local chat um, so you need to constantly be descanning and if a hunter knows what they're doing you they should be able to get you with um, sort of maximum sort of six seconds warning uh, and why is that the case um, they'll they'll combat probe you if they realize you're in a gas site then they'll just launch combat probes um, and in order to launch uh, do that you can set up probes and send them way out to the very edge of the system so that they're not visible on my d-scan and then once you've established that I'm at like this gas site you can then be aligned to the gas site so you can insta warp if necessary like if you once you find me um, and then bring your probes in and scan from way from the edge of the system you can bring them in and start scanning right on top of me um, and that will give me they'll be visible on d scan for about six seconds uh, that's like you know that's for well fit people so there's a six second window where i might be able to see some combat probes and then the ganko will enter warp um, and then land so that's why we say it's about six seconds and so this fit has that in mind it's just it's purely for escape like there's no tank at all because if you get caught you just be tank won't help you so that's why i've got things on here like the burst jammer um warp cause stab and then the, all of this is just um about align time which brings the align time down to less than five seconds so that i have the best possible chance of getting away um but it's still, it's a hundred million fit, so you know you need to be willing to take that risk. And if you're not, then by all means, do it in a venture. The whole thing will cost you five million, and you'll pull in like in the time I've been sat here rambling away, I've pulled in nearly six million. So you know, do it in a risk-free venture, and and, and you're good to go. Um, here's the first rats. There we go. And so let's just keep an eye on. They have landed 280 kilometers away so let's have a quick check as to whether or not we get aggroed we shouldn't we're at 250 is the marker i've i think there's their maximum targeting range and so we see we're not getting red boxed yet what are they up to just floating around they're just orbiting the warping point He's picked up speed. Why has he picked up speed? Not because he's seen me. So there, that's it. And then they'll just they'll just orbit that. And two more battleships will warp in, uh, in this site. And the vital site, you have um, four battleships and four frigates. And the frigates can't see you either. You're just sat outside of their range of vision, effectively. And that then takes me to why we've called it chameleon huffing. Um, the, the different gas huffing techniques you've got ninja huffing which is where you get in and get out before the rat spawn like a ninja they never knew you were there in the first place you're so sneaky um jedi huffing is sort of i think the concept is um you like you're sort of jumping around too fast or you're um it's like yoda does or you're um sort of tell them don't you no need to attack me as you move on past that kind of thing but so that's the concept there and why are we calling this chameleon huffing um the idea being you just sit so still that they can't so that the predator can't see you so we're perched on the edge of our tree and the predator can't see us and if you really want to go all out um unfortunately i don't have the right skin on um, the prospects but you could go is it Galente? No, it's Caldari. Nope, Garistas. Get one of the skins that looks like camouflage, and then you blend into you, you put your camo put your camo on and blend into the background just like a chameleon, and they'll they'll never see you. Um, yeah. So, I mean, that's basically it, guys. Um, Blood Raiders got camo as well. 
uh, yeah, I mean, that's basically it. You can see they've been spawned for a while now. All four of them. They're not, they don't care that I'm here. And I can just sit here dead still, huffing gas. Um, and warping in and out and stuff doesn't matter. Um, if you, you know, if I fill up now, I can just go back to my station, drop it off, come back, and just carry on as if the rats aren't here. Uh, we've tested this as a fleet as well. That's all absolutely fine as long as you all stay outside the 250 kilometer range. There are no problems. Um, and which is where the retreat, the coveter would really come in to its own. Like if you brought a porpoise in and a bunch of coveters so that you're compressing the gas as you huff it, um, you could just sit here and harvest so cleanly and efficiently. Um, it's got to be the most efficient way to harvest gas in wormhole space apart from just like clearing the site um you need quite good ships to clear these out like we need a marauder or maybe a few like a small fleet of nesters to to clear these guys out of here um so if you're not able to do that then the most efficient way of gas harvesting i reckon is to do this come in with a porpoise come in with some coveters and just sit here compressing gas while you ignore the ignore the sleepers um, as mentioned though, it definitely if you're going to do that, hit descan because you'll have quite a lot of cash on grid. You need to be descanning constantly. Um, but also, like, so what I haven't tested yet, but theoretically should work, um, is getting you could you should be able to get set up with this, even if rats have spawned. So if the site is triggered before you warp in, as long as you warp in in something small enough and fast enough. It doesn't really matter. You warp to 100 and still just burn up to here. And the ships, um, the rats, you should be too small and fast to for them to hit you. So I'm not going to tell you what to do that in, but your speed and signature is important if the rats aren't going to hit you while you're getting set up like that. So maybe you want to be looking at like a succubus or something that's bonus to afterburner. Um, so that you can burn out uh, with minimum signature. Uh, but then obviously one of the things to bear in mind is you will have moved the rats because they will chase you and they do move quite fast. These guys move at about a thousand meters a second. So you will have pulled them out towards the bookmark. So then just give it 10 minutes or so for the rats to then reset and drift back into position before you then warp in in your mining vessel. Um, and then, but also, if you're going to do that, take into account the wormhole pulse uh, effects. So pulsar, I probably wouldn't risk that uh, t try, trying to get set up with the rats here because of the um, large increase to ship's uh, signature. So they've got a much better chance of hitting you. But a wolf ray, you've got a reduced signature, or black hole where you can just move super, super, super fast. Um, then it would almost definitely work. So. Just pay attention to the 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 wormhole effect if you're going to try and set up with the rats in here. Like I wouldn't do it with a pulsar. Um, but yeah, that's it. So chameleon gas huffing is it the most efficient way to harvest gas? I think if you're not going to clear the rats, then yes, because this is it now. I, I can just sit here for the rest of the day huffing this gas cloud, and it really can be the rest of the day. Just um, just so that you guys see the potential if I survey the cloud it's uh, 170 uh, about 120,000 that starts at because uh, it's 25,000 meters cubed I think so it might even be more mm. it's supposed to be around that but this, it's only 24,000 meters cubed for this specific cloud um, and I've pulled in 300 in the time we've been chatting so uh, it takes good half a day like 12 hours or something for a single uh, ship to clear this so you can just literally sit here and pull in so much isk what have we got 300 is at 16 350 is at 16 24,000 <laughs> would be where's that going to be 350 is 16 3,500 would be 160 um, 3, 5 times 6 still takes us in it's, it's over a billion isk 
in this cloud. There you go. I'm not going to do it with calculator, but it's over a billion isk. So that's it. Thanks very much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you get the opportunity to go out and try this out. Um, and yeah, I will see you all in the next one. Cheers.